Hello! In this video you will learn about Canon application library for Canon laser devices with 5 inch touch LCD display. I cover the following in the video which is organized by chapters so you can easily navigate to the application you need to know more. Application library can be used to perform a variety of convenient functions. You can significantly improve the efficiency of different operations. In the menus you find the application list with apps for efficiency, copying and display operations. In this video I use one of the Canon laser color multifunctional devices which I have set up in the video in the upper right corner of the screen. To manage application library you need to check the IP address and enter it to the web browser. Log into device using system manager pin which was set during the device setup procedure. On the right side you find the main menu where I select application library and find 18 different applications for this device. Available applications may vary between different models. In the next part I show a little bit of basics on configuring applications and what is their function. For example, template print prints out the preloaded PDF document. It can be used for a kind of form which needs to be frequently printed. The second is standby slide, also available on all devices, which is actually a screen saver. You can set background colors, scrolling text and upload JPEG images to be displayed on screen. These two apps are really simple and I'm not configuring them in my video. So let's go to the next one which is language app. In this app you can add menu languages which you would like to switch on the display with one touch operation. Very practical for multinational environments where different users may prefer different operation display languages. Here I switch between English, German, Ukrainian and, and also Greek. This was a kind of introduction into configuring application library. In the next one I show the most useful applications, which are scanning apps. And the most used one is scan to preset destination. This app can be used to preset scan to email or scan to USB memory or scan to file which is network folder. With MF devices you can scan to different destination but for example scan to file may require quite a lot of steps every time you scan to the network folder. If you need to scan to folder very frequently you can combine all these steps into one touch operation. Using scan to destination takes only few seconds to complete the scanning. 
Note that additional settings to send to email or send to folder are required on Canon device and you find the details in the video in the upper right corner of the screen where I use Google SMTP settings. Next is name and scan, with which you can also scan to folder, but you input the network folder name to scan files. Full detailed step-by-step -step tutorial to configure this application is available in the video in the upper right corner of the screen and can be used for all MF devices supporting name and scan application. And the last scanning application is scan to cloud, where also print from the cloud services is possible. This functionality has been added to later MF devices. And you can print and scan from Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive. Also scan to cloud I cover in a separate video which you find in the upper right corner of the screen to step-by-step -step setup connection to Dropbox. Before I talk about more applications, there are two which cannot be configured and can only be disabled from the screen. Consumables Information and Application Library Guide Consumables Information gives you warning about using non-original toners. By the way, device remembers non-original toner usage and can print the cartridge history report. The application library displays information about application library applications that are compatible with your MF device. There is also QR code which guides you to online manuals, which I recommend to check for more information. The link is also available in the description of the video. Here I have disabled these two apps and then they disappear from the main screen. On Canon 5-inch touch LCD display devices, you can also configure home screen buttons and tabs. The latest generations support drag and drop type of home screen customization, so you can fully personalize the user interface and make the device as productive as possible for your type of use. In the next minutes of the video I will show more applications, starting with fax-related applications. Before I get to the fax apps, I enter free destinations into the address book, when I input fax destination, email destination and shared folder destination. If your MF device is not 4-in-1 supporting analog fax function, then these apps are not available. First I configure fax and store. I configure settings that whenever faxes are sent to destinations that are specified in advance, backup copies of the faxes will be sent to separate destination, which can be email, 
or shared folder. I said my fax sent to this destination will also be saved to the network folder as a backup copy. Next is print client fax application. I configure settings that among the faxes saved using memory lock in advance are printed. Memory lock saves received faxes in the memory. They can be printed later. Unneeded faxes can be deleted from the memory without printing which saves paper. Finally, the last fax application is fax to preset destination, which is available on all MF models with fax function. Destination list can also be a group of numbers. This is one touch workflow for sending faxes to most frequent destinations. I select my settings and find my configured apps on the MF device screen. Then I drag and drop the fax apps to the separate tab. And also change the tab name so I know where my fax-related apps are on the menu. For sure, now faxing will be more time efficient than getting into the fax menu and do all the steps, including saving paper. Applications in the next part are those which need access to the server. I select template email, scanned data by email to destinations that are specified in advance by specifying the subject and message of the email. Template email and print template may look similar, but they have different purpose. With this one, you can save the trouble of entering the subject and message each time you perform scanning. Next is standby slide from server, which is a kind of screensaver too. Only in this case, the images displayed on the screen will be taken from the shared folder. The shared folder destination needs correct details. And then there is print file from server. It is kind of similar to template print. Prints images and documents from a server or website, which is specified in advance. Here I configure the app, which takes PDF file from my shared folder and need to enter the proper information to get access to the file. I can also select when I want this file to be printed. Let me now arrange the home screen settings with the server apps, which I drag and drop into the separate tab. Here are my apps on the screen and for better look I also renamed the tab. The tabs are available only on later devices like Color MF750 series or Mono MF460 series. Here is my screensaver from the server. And then I cannot use the template email because I have not yet entered the email settings, which I put here in the screen. And the last one is server file which prints from my shared folder.
The last group of apps are copy apps, which can also save paper and toner. Let's have a closer look. With ID card copy, you can copy ID cards according to the number of copies and image quality settings that are specified in advance. Let's copy an ID card. Both sides of the ID will be printed on one page. There's another default ID card copy app already available on the default main menu. So there maybe won't be a need to configure this app at all. With Copy Echo, you can combine two-sided and on one copying to perform the combination with one touch operation. This way, paper and toner can be saved. If copying in color, you can reduce the intensity of the color and save on color toners as well or only leave it for black and white. Here I copy two color pages with black and white and two on one setting. To save on color toner, for example, the function department ID can restrict color copying at all. Copy Bleed Reduce will reduce the amount of bleed through when copying. This application is useful when the original is printed on thin paper. Here are the settings which can be adjusted for this application. And the last app of all in my today's video is Copy Enhance Text which will copy with the settings specified in advance. For my demonstration, I put two copies and decrease the density and increase the magenta. This is why I call my application Enhance Red Color. I put the app where I group copy applications and similar as I have done before, I change the tab name into Copy Apps. Let's copy and see if the red color will be enhanced. Indeed, magenta looks very saturated. So I do the default copy as well. The difference in density from the default copy is visible and that would be all about application library apps in this video. Find more about printers in the playlist on my channel, feel free to comment, ask questions and don't forget to subscribe as it helps me to grow my channel and create more videos like this. Thank you for watching and sharing and please like the video. Bye!